Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the New York Mets. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. And a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. And the series started out like you might expect. The home side taking care of business in game one. But this game today is going to reveal a lot about what this series will become. Will it be a battle for six or seven games? Or will it be a walkover? Those are the questions that we start getting more clarity on after game two. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, Chris. This should be fun. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Aaron Stevens, the next giant to hit. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Out to short, Rogers collects. One out in the top of the first. Batting third, the left fielder, number 34. Andrew Vaughn. Man at first, stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Steve Batting Rogers. Shortstop. He's not going to get cheated Steve. up there. No, he's not. Roger. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. On the ground, right side. They get the force, and that'll do it. Here's Christian Pache. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Here's a 1-1. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Castro for one, and that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Steve Rogers. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. On the ground, two ball. Luciano tossed the second not in time at first it's a fielder's choice deceptive slider right there stayed in the tunnel a long time got that hitter out front rolled over it put it on the ground and here is Willie Castro the switch hitter batting right Rogers off the of first with two away Next one misses, and now it's three and two. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpire and crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game, and the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. Schuster keeping an eye on him. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Met strand one, still no score. Aaron Stevens, the next giant to hit. The right fielder, number six, Aaron Stevens. Here comes a pitch. Hit on the ground, might be two. The throw to second, and a run scores on the double play. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here, so that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Next to hit, Steve Rogers. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. It's 
Swung on, belted. That one's deep. Pulls it in on the warning track. So two down, and next for the Mets, Steve Rogers. How about it? Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Hey, keep it going. You're next up there. I need you right now. Here we go now. Come on. Here we go. Look for a strike. Line, and that's a base hit. One runs in. In there safely. Well, there you go, the RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. New arm out of the bullpen, Matthew Bowman. This is Willie Castro. Matthew Bowman. Eddie Diaz. In the dirt, blocked. Well done behind the dish. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, inning over, and it could have been worse. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Christian Pache. The center fielder. Christian. Bounced out to short. Rogers picks it up. Fires across the diamond, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. The catcher, number 33, Francisco Alvarez. Well, you take a tie ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. You've got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W. So, Chris, here's a look at the final numbers from what turned out to be a really close ball game. Yeah, this is one of those games that clearly could have gone either way, and that's kind of exactly what you expect out of postseason baseball. So competitive. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long.